Danny Miller might not offer oat cuisine at Baloo House in Kilinchi, but he's just as passionate about good quality food. My kitchen's a bit more, a bit more rustic. You know, it's a pub. You give people what they want. Not everybody wants to eat three-star food. And Danny reckons his simple, homely food will be just what the judges are looking for for the final banquet. I'm definitely more comfortable with this year's brief. It fits into exactly the style of food I do at Baloo. He's also convinced he's got the best produce available. You're as good as your ingredients. I'd say the, probably the best thing you have in Northern Ireland would be butter and cream. <laughs> and fantastic, fantastic fish. Without a doubt, some of the best in the world. His strategy will be to stay true to his roots and his produce. Yeah, Philip would say it was a great pride to represent my country in this, in this competition for myself against other cooks and say, and I'm from Northern Ireland, that's what, I, that's what I'm made of. These are my ingredients. See if you can do any better. So he's thrown down the gauntlet, and his opponent, Claire Smith, is more than happy to pick it up. Claire's life as a chef for London's elite diners seems a million miles from the wild County Antrim coast where she grew up. I might not sound very Northern Irish, but I think I'm more Irish than most people. In fact, all of my roots and my growing up has all been here in, in very much in agriculture and food. Brought up in a small farming community near Bush Mills, Claire soon learned about the importance of high quality produce and ingredients. When I was a kid, my father had dairy cattle, my aunt's a potato farmer. It's all to do with the land. So my whole life is based around sort of food and, and everything to do with the industry in Northern Ireland. And she retains that respect for the supplier in her prestigious role as head chef at restaurant Gordon Ramsay on Royal Hospital Road. I have a great relationship with all of our suppliers. I speak to them nearly every day and they come in and see me regularly. I tell them whether it's good or bad. If it's bad, they know they're getting it straight back. Um, if it's good, I call them and tell them as well. And she thinks this high quality is equally essential for the armed forces banquet. You might not eat this food every day. It might not necessarily remind you of home, but they want to spoil the soldiers and they should have a little bit of a luxury. I think they deserve it.